your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. Some of you may have had a little late night uh, wake up. We had a little cell that pressed through the area last night, oh, around 11 to midnight, with some rumbles of thunder that came through the Terre Haute area. But right now, much of our area is quiet. We have to turn our attention back to the northwest, though, where we're starting to see yet more activity showing up. And on our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, once again, across our immediate area, things are quiet for now. But within this line of some thunderstorm development. We've already had a severe thunderstorm warning that came out due to some strong winds and potentially some small hail. This is just off to the west of Peoria right now. This entire line is working its way east and northeast and so we'll keep an eye on that active weather that's situated back to the west of us now where severe thunderstorm watches extend from Kansas all the way up to just on those northern fringe areas of the Wabash Valley. Once again, uh, we are going to have some video coming out of Kansas later this morning. Impressive tornado activity last night. We'll show you that coming up, but uh, right now, for the most part, the biggest threat is wind and hail. We'll continue to track this activity, though, so as we head into midday, this line, if it holds together, will impact parts of the Wabash Valley, so we'll keep a close eye on what happens. We'll press this through the area, and then our focus turns to later this evening. Once again, we think there'll be some active weather from central Illinois across into the Wabash Valley. So today is one of those days where we do anticipate showers and thunderstorms, not all day, but at times. By tomorrow, we're going to clear those clouds out by the afternoon. We're going to lead into a cooler start to the weekend for sure. Now, rainfall amounts will be heaviest with this as you go off to the north. Once again, southern areas, I'm not saying you won't see any rain or thunderstorms, but we think the bulk of downpours could come the further north you get in the two state and once again we do have a slight risk of severe weather that covers the entire area today damaging wind risks that's what we're concerned about that and hail we think will be the issue if they reach severe limits those are the two areas where we think it may prompt some warnings if that's the case as we go through the day and especially later tonight I think that's when we think severe weather could be more widespread Spread. Now, temperatures are mild once again today. We get cooler, not cold, but cooler as we get into the day Friday. Cooler still as we get into the day Sunday, and even colder as we start next week. Temperatures well below normal. Come Monday and Tuesday, you're going to need a winter coat, not an umbrella. As we get into the end of next week, I think more zonal with that flow will moderate temperatures some. But I'm telling you, this blast of cold. Monday and Tuesday is going to be felt valley wide. Today we're keeping our eye on the sky and so should you with the development of thunderstorms today. We are talking about this activity this morning again in the middle part of the day and later tonight. So I think three rounds of activity tonight. Overnight lows stay in the 50s. Right now we're in the 60s, but so that gives us kind of that mild feel still until later tomorrow. Once the cold front ends or moves through, excuse me, and rain ends midday Friday kind of starts to get colder. As you see Saturday morning, we start in the 30s, but Monday morning we start in the 20s, David. Mm. So we go from 60s to 50s to 40s. And I'll tell you, next week, we're going to be starting Monday, all of us sitting here huddled together. Because yeah. after you've been in the 70s, 40s are going to bring a chill. Yeah. All right. And stay tuned later today, of course, if anything does.